Guys, um, <clears throat> I'm almost done with my lunch. I decided to grab something to eat. So I ended up getting some wild rice and also uh, this Three Sisters. It's like squash corn and beans. I'm almost done, but. Delish. Um, the wild rice um, has like cranberries or something in it, which is really good. I'm not sure if this dish was supposed to be warm or served cold. I like it. I like my rice cold, but I mean warm. But this is pretty good. And I'm in love with the Three Sisters dish. I actually had some tomatoes in it too. It is a big old bean. No. I'm trying to hurry up and finish eating so I can attend this second round of social dancing. And catch the first part that I missed when it started at 10.30. So, eating my wild rice, not white rice, not brown rice, wild rice. Mmm, pretty good. But I do want to get a smoothie too. They sell smoothies here, and I had um, um, a sample. I think it was mango. It was really good. So I'm gonna go back and get some. And I asked if they add extra sugar to it, and they add um, agave or something. But I'm gonna see if they not not add that to mine because I don't want extra sugar. myself together. The here at the National Museum of the American Indian is the four-step war dance. War dances were used by early Choctaws to prepare for battle. Choctaw war dances are unusual in that the women join the men in dancing. In most other tribes, only men take part in the war dancing. Dancer will vote for his plan. 
place, ran to the female portion of the line, and sees one of the women or girls. The fun continues as each person gets a chance to steal a partner. So if one of the dancers comes and asks you to dance, please say yes.
met some Choctaw people and the um, tribal representatives, the princesses of the Choctaw Nation in Oklahoma. And apparently they're flying back home this afternoon. A lot of the people there, like I said, were from Oklahoma. They're not from, let's say, Mississippi or locally. So, so anyway, yeah, these food trucks are lined up. And they're all like Middle Eastern food, like Peruvian and Persian. Not Peruvian, um, yeah, I guess it's Peruvian. And then they have Persian food and stuff like that. So yeah, they're lined up. So I guess they have permits to be on this particular street. So, um, smells good, but I'm going to pass and just eat at home when I get there. Oh, that looks good. Polish, Polish sausages. It's an ice cream truck. Ice cream, ice cream. Oh, there it is. It's an ice cream food truck. Make the U turn in the middle of the road. Who does that? Oh, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And um, until next time, toodles.